Hi, I'm Dr. Fouad Geula from the Southern California Pain Institute. I'd like to talk a little bit about medial branch blocks. This diagnostic procedure is performed to identify a painful facet joint. The facet joints are the joints between the vertebra and the spine. They allow the spine to bend, flex, and twist. In preparation for the procedure, the patient is positioned on their stomach. The physician then injects a local anesthetic that helps to numb the skin and tissue around the facet joint that's suspected of causing the pain. Once the tissue is numb, we insert a needle into the skin. The needle is carefully guided down to the facet joint, and we then inject a contrast solution through this needle. The contrast solution helps us see the area on a camera called a fluoroscope. The fluoroscope provides live x-ray images. We then use the fluoroscope to confirm the location of the needle's tip. Once we have confirmed that the needle is positioned correctly, we attach a syringe containing an anesthetic medication. This medication is injected around small nerves called the medial branch nerves. These nerves carry signals to and from the facet joints. The anesthetic that we inject will temporarily block sensation in these nerves. If the temporary injection relieves your pain, we will then inject a more long-lasting anesthetic and ultimately proceed with radiofrequency ablation.